Well, I'm tempted to just sit here. <laughs> it is such a remarkable performance. It's so fulfilled and realized in e every detail that there isn't really a, gr a great deal to say, which I'm very happy about because you're both extraordinary artists and you have an amazing intensity in your playing and I can make just a few suggestions and that's all. But it's, uh, it's remarkable what you're doing. So the first gesture is, do you remember I said to, to, at the beginning, I don't know if you were there at the beginning when I was talking to Zach about what belongs to what? And that upbeat, this is, and you don't make that upbeat. In Brahms, the bar line is always important. So he has a tremendous tension between the shape of the phrase and the demands of the bar line. So never lose sight of the fact that the, the, the F, da da-da, is going to the second, the second part of the, the note. And that happens a lot in this piece. Um, you, don't, you, you should do the first chord enormous, like the Metro Goldwyn Mayor Lion, like that, but then right down to piano. So make it enormous, just do the opening. You're right, that's right. But you can spread it also more. Good. Now, things are built in threes so often in music. So da di, da da, ta di, and then even that is built in threes. Da da, da di, oh, here, da da, da da, da da, always in threes. So just make the third one the most once more. Can you make it slower on the chord? Yes. Have this da di da da di da da ba bi da separate. That was great. That was much better. I have a question. So yeah, I, I've heard different opinions on how to treat these. How to do what? The, the ties, whether to think of them occasionally as chimiola or tie, and I was wondering if. Like, you mean this? Yeah. I mean, Always think of it going over the bar line, not collapsing from it. Da dim, ba ba, like that, just like you did. It's fantastic tension. It was wonderful. So do it again. Make the spread of the chord. <laughs> Off the uh, gesture with every note, so it doesn't sound so legato. That's a little broader than you were doing it, and I think it's grand. It's 
It's very, very effective. Could you just try from this pet? Um, do from here. Very dolce. It's so funny, you know, Brahms has a, a crescendo and diminuendo on w one note on the piano. What was he thinking? Oh, all you can do is kind of go, oh, like, but the thing is to play it a little more. <laughs> he literally has a crescendo and diminuendo on a single note. It's very funny. Do once again this, do, do from here, very dolce. repeat. Don't make a diminuendo there because there's nothing there. This is so grand here. Wow. Do good, do good. Do. Tee-yah-dee, Over the bar line. Not da da dee Do from there. dee ba da ba dee Yeah.
You know, I'll tell you a secret. My teacher, Casado, when he played that, he didn't do a he did just on two notes, staccato. I mean, like this. Just to play the two notes. And it's... No, just pop, 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 pop. Play it there. Right. Because the beauty of that, it doesn't disturb this at all. You don't want to... It's so, it's so intrusive, because it was so beautiful. Do that from there again, from that F major, right? Yeah. Isn't that great? Two horns. why that moment is so incredibly touching. B he hasn't touched B flat major once in the piece. And it's the subdominant of the piece, and you'd expect he would, he hasn't touched it. So strategic and clever and wonderful. So when that moment finally comes, the transformation of that heroic theme into this most tender, loving moment. Should we just try from the cello? That's the same as da dee, da da dee dee. Right from there.
I, I wouldn't make that because what you're doing is adding a beat there. And it's so beautiful because this theme, ba -beam, ba -bam, be -be -da -da, never ends. It never completes itself. It always stops in the middle, except here. This is the one time, the only time in the piece. Da -de -de -da -de -da -de -da -da. Finally comes down to a real F major arrival. So do it the way you did it, but when it comes, do it all. Ah, make it a surprise only dynamically, not timing. But that was very beautiful. Would you try one more time from there? Bravo, bravo. That was more beautiful than anything you did in the first performance. That was so beautiful, so tender. It was partly inspired by the piano because she did it so beautifully. But then you dig into a place you've never reached in this piece before. It's another world, it's a heavenly world. It's just it's incredible. Do it one more time. The difference is only being more brave, being more expressive, being just everything you're doing, but a little bit more than that. Sometimes the first performance was rushed, or at least driven, so that you didn't have enough time to say everything that the music had to say. And now you had all the time in the world to say it. And uh, it's beautiful, really. It's great, great playing. I wouldn't want to hear it any more beautiful playing than you did it, really. Thank you. Thank you.